Hi, I'm Invalid Ghost, and this audio is being recorded after I played the episode you're watching now. Why? Because I'm a huge idiot, and I closed out of Audacity without saving my file. Why did I do that? Because I'm a huge idiot. Now anyway, I'm just going to summarize what I did in this recording session, and you can all hate me in the comment section below. First, I read some comments by commenter Stuart Bates. Basically, he told me that I could wear skirts and pants at the same time, which I tried out in-game, and, and it turns out that you can actually wear both at the same time. Pretty cool. He also told me that corpus disease probably prevents vampirism, and he reminded me to get the skooma I left behind at the Telvani bug musk shop. After reading those comments, I got Rabina to follow me, and together we made our way to the clothier shop in Telmora to buy an exquisite skirt. I got the skirt, and then we went to that bug musk shop in Tel Arun to pick up my skooma. Also, Rabina kept jumping into the ocean while I was attempting to board the ship while trying to get to Tel Arun, so we went swimming. Which was a great distraction for me, because I was about to have a mental breakdown over trying to remember where exactly I had left the skooma. After getting both the skirt and the skooma, we went to Balmora to enchant my skirt. However, I remembered that the lady there would attack me if I tried to enchant stuff with her. I proceeded to try enchanting the skirt with her anyway and got attacked. To then I went to Sadrith Mora and had the enchanter person there enchant my skirt. I mean Scruffy's kilt! With the constant effect restore fatigue enchantment. It restores six points of stamina every second or something like that. Why did I make it six points? Because the wiki told me to, so I don't want to hear any complaints in the comments. Anyway, I also tried to put an enchantment of restore health on the kilt, but it was too expensive, so then I tried to put the restore health enchantment on my exquisite amulet instead, using the other golden saint soul I got off camera, but that was also too expensive. Now Scruffy wears a dress. I mean a kilt, and it never runs out of- and he never runs out of stamina. It feels kind of like cheating, but it isn't cheating, so that's good or something. Anyway, after doing all of that, I finally went to the Edmund some or whatever the heck it's called camp. The last camp I needed to call me Nerevarin. At this camp, there were two a-holes. We'll call them Ash and Ulfric Stormcloak. Anyway, the wise woman there told me to kill Ash and Ulfric, and so I did. Then I killed some other people too, because I had to. They all carried stuff on them that I didn't care about, aside from Ulfric's axe. I really like that axe. Anyway, the wise woman then told me to try and make this other dude named Gilgamesh or something the new Hortator, I mean Ashkon, of the Ed Manson camp. Gilgamesh didn't want to be Ashkon, he just wanted to be left alone and believed himself to be a weak coward. Hashtag relatable, am I right? Ha! <laughs> anyway, after giving Gilgamesh all the cool stuff I found on the people I killed and giving him some boring speeches, Gilgamesh finally decided to become Ashkon of the Elbow Camp and named me Nerevarin. Also, he let me keep the cool axe that I liked, which was a plus, especially since I had tried to keep it from him the first time he asked about it. After becoming Nerevarin of the EPPPPP camp, I went back to the wise woman and she gave me a magical belt that I will probably never use. <laughs> and that is all that happened in this recording session of Morrowind. On the next episode, we will go talk to that dude who wants to talk to us back in Vivek, I think. I'll see you guys in the next adventure, which hopefully will have my freaking voice audio in it. Bye! I'm sorry. <laughs>